Okay, so here we are at my front door, and this is a new wreath that I just got yesterday at the pottery place here in town. And <clears throat> I actually had them add like the two pink flowers and all of the um, like neon lime green things right here that are hanging. Um, and I think she added one more. Anyway, I got her to embellish it just a little bit more so it would show more from the street. And then we are going to come in. And so right here, that's John's study. And then, like I said, my house is really open. Our home before we had, this one was not very open. So that is the window that I'm sitting in front of, like a triple window. And um, so you guys have seen those um, drapes. Okay, I think it took a minute to adjust. So you've seen the buffet and the table and the chairs and the bench. And then um, those are the curtains, drapes that I got from West Elm. I don't know why it looks like we're having a hard time adjusting to the color. Okay, and then here, I just bought these chairs from Home Goods. I thought they were so pretty. They're the acrylic chairs, but they're really fancy. I've got to get some Goo Gone and take the stickers off. I don't know where I'm gonna put them. They're not gonna stay here, but um, if I were to wait until I'm completely finished, I don't know if you'd ever see anything. Okay, so you guys have seen this. You've seen little Chanel. She's not gonna be able to stand it that that door's shut. So that is the little entryway table that I got from Wayfair. And um, that horse is like my gold one upstairs. I went back and luckily they still had more because I love that horse. And I got in from the same pottery place. Um, the mirror I got from Z Gallery and I don't know if it's still available it seems like the last time I looked it wasn't on there but I can find you several that look a lot like it and then the lamps were from Wayfair too I ended up ordering a lot of stuff from like Wayfair and Amazon and different places because um, I, my car can't hold but so much and I just got tired of bugging John to get stuff and so some things I had delivered you'll see okay and then this here is where I have all of my sunglasses like this is the Tom Ford drawer and I think this has a lot of aviators they've gotten messy where I've been just running over here and grabbing something and then going um, this one over here has a lot of different sunglasses like if they come with a little soft pouch sometimes I keep the pouch out otherwise I have all the cases upstairs like in storage on my shelves okay and then um there's my bedroom right off of the main living area and then here is our living room and um let's see you guys have seen these i showed them to you but this is where we put them and it's blair z she does a lot of just gucci she does a lot of work for different designers um she really got noticed and got big and I've loved her stuff for a long time, ever since a friend told me about her. And um, this will probably not stay here. I'm looking for a really cool chair to put there, but I just put it here for the time being just to kind of take up that space and be over that plug and every that outlet there. And then um, the little star burst mirrors, I got at H&M. The candlesticks I got at the pottery place here. Um, Sully Anlian that does a lot of the artwork for me, um, the tiger and everything did that. Uh, Kelly Oliver bought it for me for one year for Christmas, had her do it because they're friends. And then the jackalope, I can't remember where I got the jackalope. Um, I love him. I'm not sure where I got him. Seems like it might have been like Pier 1 or West Elm maybe West Elm, I can't remember, one of those places like that. And then um, our fireplace, we don't use it. It's not, a, it's not a real fireplace, it's not ventilated, it's like a gas log, but we don't really have a chimney. Um, it's, I don't know, it's hard to explain. But um, so I got those huge candlesticks from a kind of like a resale antique store here, it's called Uptown Market. Um, the I got the flower balls. I didn't care for them as much as these. These are just the boxwood 
balls. I got those at Home Goods, and my Lion Angel is um, he is from also from that pottery place. When I saw him, oh, he was coming home with me. I love him. I love his paws, his little angel wings, and his tail, everything. And of course, we're going to do some <laughs> yard work at the neighbors now. So if you hear the um, lawnmower, that's what it is. Okay, and then this is the latest thing we bought, I think, and it's just a cabinet um, for all of our TV things to go into. Um, that speaker, you know, John's into like the sound. He likes to pretend he's out here at the movies. And then I bought that lamp from Macy's, but I don't think they have it anymore. And then you guys remember my dark prints from Catherine. She is the artist. And I believe that she has, if you like him, she has some prints you can buy on her website. All of the artists I will put down below. I'll try to put all the information. Okay, let's see. Backyard. <laughs> um, and you guys know that these um, drapes also are from West Elm, the lamp from Amazon, John's old table and recliner. We are eventually going to get something new, but um, he has to pick it out. So, okay. And then this is the sofa that I bought, we bought from Wayfair. I was not sure I was going to like a velvet sofa. I wasn't sure I was going to like this style. So, there was a Jonathan Adler one I really liked. Sheila bought it and it was a couple thousand dollars and I just couldn't do it without knowing. So I bought this one which was much less expensive and we love this sofa. There's just something about it. It's not cushy but it's so soft and the cats really haven't messed with it. Um, I really like it. And then random pillows. One Jonathan Adler pillow from I think Macy's or Bloomingdale's. Um, my Tiger Boss from Sullivan and Lynn. And the sconces, I wanted to give it more of like that 60s or 70s feel. I felt like that, I, I, that was, you know, kind of, that's, the, that's just what I like. And I did lower him. Many of you told me he was too high and I agreed. I just dreaded asking John to hang him again, but when I did, he did it. He didn't seem to mind very much, but what happened is we hung him before we got the sofa, and that sofa is pretty low, so we re-hung him lower, and let's see that um, garden stool was my grandmother's, the white one. Um, the coffee table was from Wayfair, and um, let's see, I got some of these coffee table books from TJ Maxx. I really love, uh, let's see, this one I got from TJ Maxx. That one I ordered, you guys saw it yet. I think I got it from Barney's. And then that Diane von Furstenberg I found at Marshall's. It was like such a jackpot. So those are the coffee table books. And then the Jonathan Adler cocktail napkins. Looks like Brooke has thrown her um, hand sanitizer in here. Nothing sacred. And I've had that box for a while. I think I got it at Home Goods. Um, this one is just some shells that my grandmother, you know, found on the beach, the sea urchins. And then this is actually a seashell that Sita, Sita Couture sent to me that she had brought back from, oh, I can't remember what island, but I thought it looked pretty in there. And then there's Sassy Girl. And the bottom rug I bought from Home Goods, the top, um, faux hide rug with the gold, it's got gold sparkles. I bought, I ordered it from somewhere, maybe Overstock, I think. And um, so, and then this is my kitchen. And that is the breakfast nook, of course. And like I said, you can see these pictures that Elliot did for me everywhere, all over the house. I love them. And so we hung those this past weekend. There's our ugly water bottle and I hate it there, but we love having that cold, good water delivered and everything. So that's there. Um, the table and chairs took me a long, long time 
to find and to pick out. I wanted that counter height table and I wanted something modern. And so when I found this, the only thing we had to decide if we wanted white or black, and I'm so glad we chose white. So, you know, we had this repainted. I did have a whole big French country theme in here and um, took down my curtains and the light is from Lowe's, but that's pretty common too. If I can't find it, I can find several more like it for you. Okay, this way, I'm not gonna go all the way in here, but this is the way to my children's rooms. Um, their bathroom, it's actually like Brooke's bathroom is right there. Brooke's room is there. Will's room is over there. And then that, where that wreath is, is going up to my study or my office room over the garage. Um, that is the artwork that Brooke did for me at school on a canvas and I had it framed. And then this is my kitchen. And I do not have a big kitchen. I do not need a big kitchen. <laughs> this is perfect. And we had it repainted. We got all new appliances. So, like I, I really have enjoyed the double oven. And um, the canisters are old. I have a hard time giving them up. One of them has the top broken off of it. And I did get um, the new Soda Stream and Keurig. And we had our backsplash tiled. So this is just the white glass subway, the long, thin backsplash or tiles for the backsplash. Um, this is the Mason Louise candle that I hate to burn. It smells so good, but I don't know. I just don't, I hate to mess it up. And then this is a favorite picture of mine of Brooke and Will out in the yard in the wagon. I was pulling them around in the wagon. They were just so cute. And Will had a drink out of the refrigerator outside. He thought he was something. And um, that is a drawing of our home years and years and years ago. You can see the big wreath on the door from a, and the hanging baskets like I always have and a rocker. Um, her name is Trina. I can't remember what her last name is right now. And then this is something I love. Let me turn it on for you. It is a kitchen light that I bought from Pottery Barn. And I love at night just to have little lights on like this. Okay, and then that's all of our jackets and stuff hanging down there. That's the door that we come in. Nine times out of ten, it's from the garage. And then um, there is this. My mom and dad got this for Will, and he has loved it. It's like a pizza maker, and you can also warm things up in it. And um, it's, he's enjoyed it. And then one of my camera charges, the chargers are everywhere. And I made that night light when I used to sew and I used to embroider and all that stuff and it matched my curtains, but I still liked it. So I kept it and so and you guys saw the stuff on the table, just some flowers, um, some antique vases from um, my grandmother. My mom gave them to me. They were my grandmother's and then the camera, the camera, the candle is from West Elm and John is so sweet he brings me flowers every time he goes to the grocery store on the weekends we get new flowers so and you guys have seen Bridget and I can't wait to see his new movie Bruce okay so I'm gonna take you back and through that's where I sit and film my Friday videos. I'm trying to be steady here. Okay, and then this is <laughs> Sleep Central. A lot of cozy sleeping and laying down goes on in this room. And um, so my bed, you guys remember I got that from Amazon. I made my drapes years and years ago. Um, I had my lamps before I started all this. I had just found those at home goods. They are so heavy. I have to have John hold them up for me when I dust so I can get around them. And then these nightstands I found, I believe, I believe we got them at Wayfair. I believe we did. I like the um, 
they come in some different colors. Like I believe they came in blue and stuff, but they have the design kind of like these sconces outside. And then I don't know if you can see that little disc looking thing on top of my um, nightstand. There's my glasses for at night, but that is my phone charger. I just lay it on there. It's like a Mophie phone charger. It's really neat. I just have enjoyed it a bunch. Okay, another antique vase from my mom that was my grandmother's. Um, my parents got me the jewelry box. I found those little jewelry holders at Home Goods, and it's a real nice way to see your jewelry without it getting dusty. Um, the big horse I found years ago at Home Goods, and he's a good way to put your necklaces on there. And then in these drawers, I also have jewelry, like a lot of my Sheila Fajal hoops. Like all three of these drawers have jewelry, French candy, um, just different earrings, just different things like that. My coasters, um, and that is, oh, is that a DVD player? I think it is. Um, let's see. Okay, one thing, I took down almost anything hanging, but I did leave this hanger um, behind my door. That's two Zara dresses. This one's actually pretty recent. The other one I never have worn, but this one's pretty recent. Just a good dress to throw on with flip-flops in the summer. This is my house coat that I keep hanging here. It's the one I put on when I'm taking the kids to school. Or, I keep saying that. It's just Will now. But, um, this is Mr. Bubba taking a serious afternoon nap. I had to take the faux fur off. I actually gave it away because it was just too heavy for us. And, um... But normally they are all on this bed. That's Bridget's bed that it stays on our bed and she sleeps there even at night. Um, and I love that window above our bed. Um, our duvet is from Pottery Barn. It's just the simple one because I have to wash it very, very often. Just not, I change the sheets like once a week and I change the duvet sometimes just depending, but most of the time it's like once a week too. I have to wash the debay because of the animals. But you know how it is, the price you pay. And another, the matching nightstand. You guys have seen, um, I'm wearing one of my Zara dresses, my house dresses, and um, just my Javianas. And that is the big mirror. And then this furniture, we just bought from a local store, Haverty's, and I love it, love it. That piece we already had, and these two big ones are mine, and then the other one is John's, and I found that mirror at um, Home Goods. I just wanted something really simple, and I'm keeping this room really simple, trying to, and the name of this paint I know is Eider White from Sherwin-Williams, and I just love it. Um, that piece, I could just keep that dust thing in there. It's not pretty, but then I can just dust really quick. Um, some fragrances that I've been wearing lately. Um, this is one of those roses that just like lasts forever and smells so good. Okay, then a lot of people ask me about the horse lamp. That is also from the Pottery Place. And if you do live here in town, um, they do have more of them left. I saw them there yesterday when I got my wreath. Um, this abstract. I believe it's called City Lights. I'm not sure. It's something like that. It is from Jane. Um, I'm wanting to say Michael, but I'm sure it's pronounced another way, but I will put her name down below. Um, I needed some height up there, and so I got that big, but I wanted to keep this masculine. This is John's dresser, and so I grabbed that, and I, I have bought several things to put in there, but I've always liked it just by itself. And then, of course, every man needs some things to empty their stuff. So you can see he's got junk change in one of them and some of his junk in the other. Um, there is our greatest investment, the Debot vacuum cleaner. I love that. We just had the house cleaned yesterday. They come every two weeks and mop and dust and everything. And we ran that last night because John had some dirt in his shoes when he came home. And it was full full of hair and everything else because it goes underneath the 
couch and everything else. So we're going into my bathroom and I thought about pulling everything out of here and making it look perfect, but this is, this is it. This is how it is. So there is my nude painting. We've enjoyed her right there, but we might hang her on this wall. And like I've told you, I don't take baths that much, but if I do, it's real easy just to pull everything out. Um, there's my paper towels for when I put my makeup on. Um, all of my Velcro rollers, hair dryers, everything in there. And it is a jacuzzi tub. There's the weights that I work out with. Um, I've done all kinds of things with these washcloths. I have found that it's easiest. I use so many in a day just to keep them folded like that. That way when I am over here, so that's the little potty area. This is my window beside my makeup place here. And a lot of times I'll open that. And, um, you know, I keep just a few little things up here. But, um, then mirror. Let's see. And this is the same color paint. And then here's John's side. But, and then I did get that caddy right there to hold my hair supplies, my drink, and my phone there, a heater. So when we get out of the shower, and then, you know, a lot of my mine and Brooke stuff is over there too. We have run him out of here just about. Um, a mirror, um, white towels as usual, and um, that is that body oil that we love. And we did not spend a lot of time or money in there because we're gonna just totally redo that bathroom maybe next year. And we're probably gonna take the tub out and we're just going to redo the whole thing so okay here is my closet and i don't know if you guys remember it before but john and i both have a closet this exact same size here's his over here and here is shenane she heard a door open what you doing chanel i hear you and um so i had my closet done by california closets and um, they come out, they measure, and then they kind of tell you what they can do. And then you get to pick out, um, like your shower ride colors, you get to pick out, you know, the colors that you want this. Um, I, you know, was going to wait until I had everything perfect to do this, but I just don't know when that's going to be. So this is just stuff that I have temporarily kind of put up there, and it's just ended up staying up. There's extra brushes, um, extra T3 curling iron tops, um, some more extra brushes, um, my Invisalign. Um, look, that whole black basket is full of eyelashes. Um, there are my MAC lipsticks, some candles that I haven't burned yet, um, my, some backup makeup, and that is my Charlotte Tilbury and my Rosie Huntington Whiteley lipsticks. Um, up on that top shelf is, I had bought some drawer organizers from the container store and I just haven't needed them yet. And then I have these, you know, um, shelves up there and in those two, like Kate Spade boxes, I put just, you know, that miscellaneous stuff that you are like keeping from your childhood photos, just different things that you don't want to get rid of. That is in there. Um, up there in that basket. I don't think anything's in the basket yet. I think I just bought that to put up there for now. And then in the white like toolbox, I believe I have some more brushes that I'm not using. Um, here are some of my jeans. These are the ones that are kind of like in rotation now. I have some that don't fit or I'm not crazy about in a dresser in Will's room, but that's most of the ones that I'm wearing now. And I did have all of my hangers white and I cracked and had to grab some out of my other closet, my old pink ones. But um, matter of fact, they were out of the white ones last time I went to Target. But so this, I asked for plenty of space for dresses. So that is my dresses. These are my pants. And that is some looks like some camis and then some different shirts and then lots of different black blazers. Okay, and then I have this wall hook here which matches. We changed the one over there. Instead of having like a regular towel bar, I really like the hooks better. 
and they're from Restoration Hardware. And I also got the toilet paper holder that matches it. Um, and then I chose this front of my drawers. And um, so this is like a jewelry type drawer, different, you know, statement, some fragrance, some different pieces of jewelry. And they're the soft clothes. Okay, this is, um, you know, some scarves and stuff, and I believe some belts, my Gucci belts. And so they just close like that. And then this is a bra drawer. I do have another drawer with bras in it, but this is the one. These are the bras that I wear all the time. So I keep them in here because it's close to the shower. And then this last drawer is empty. It's a deep drawer, so I'll eventually put something good in there. Um, my Uggs, this is just like miscellaneous stuff that I think I'm actually getting rid of. Um, an old stool that was the kids when they used to brush their teeth that I cannot bear to part with. Some pants that I didn't like that are will be given away. And um, some different foundations and makeup. And I'm actually trying to go through that and, you know, decide what I want to keep. So, as you can see, very organized. It's not elaborate. I don't have lights or anything. It's the small kind of, it's not even a walk-in. I think they call it a step-in closet. But when you get organized and you get rid of all your stuff, it's amazing what you can hold in there. And then, you know, that dresser is mine. But I believe I might have... Do I have empty drawers? No. I've got like body suits and hosiery. Um, that is like some nightgowns. And then my panty drawer. And then um, that's my t-shirts. And some other things that I've gotten. Just random stuff. And then this has some good drawers in it too. And then in the nightstand I usually keep my bathing suits and stuff like that. And here's a little creeper. She's going to get in there. And the cats love to get in Bridget's bed and sleep. And goodness, I'm trying to think if that is it. If you have any questions, let me know. Oh, gosh, one of my favorite, favorite things is this. We have the tray ceiling. And um, a friend of mine, Bridget, um, here in town, she's the artist that took those um photography pictures. She had one of these in her bedroom. When I went to her house, she lives in a really nice neighborhood. Her house is gorgeous. She had one of those. And when I saw it, I thought, oh, I just want one because it's so sim simple, but so pretty. And it looks so pretty at night. And um, that was that's one of my favorite things. We did have a ceiling fan up there. So you can imagine how much I like that. So just very clean. I mean, I could hang pictures everywhere and do all kinds of stuff but i just love having all this empty space that's why i wanted to go with a simple mirror um and then when i'm just talking about her i forgot i'll go this way which is the way we go most of the time and that is one of her pictures it's of the gucci store in los angeles and i just about forgot look at this this is from the same artist that did my Black Panther and the Lion, and she did this picture of Brooke that I thought was so gorgeous, and it just fit there so perfectly. And let me back up and show you just the whole thing of like when I come out of my room, what I see. I love it. So this is my view from my bedroom. And then I've got to get that together. I ended up having, I had given away a mirror that I bought to go right here and um, ended up having to buy another one because we were so used to having it here. And um, so, and then my windows, front door, and John's study. Okay, I hope you guys enjoyed this. Um, if I've got anything, let me know. And you have to disregard my messy porches. We haven't with all the snow and everything, everything got just terrible outside. And um, we haven't done our spring cleaning yet. We're gonna have the whole house pressure washed and get on that. But, um, so I hope you guys enjoyed it. Oh, look at Sassy laying on that. They're so funny, the places that they pick. And um, I will see you guys real soon. Thanks, bye-bye.